Hi, my name is Linda Yo. I'm a certified weight consultant and the author of Asian Slim Secrets. I'm a Chinese immigrant who have lived in several different countries, including Indonesia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan, and now my family and I live in San Diego, California. I was compelled to write my book, Asian Slim Secrets, because most weight loss methods are too hard to follow. About 18 years ago, I discovered a simple weight loss method. It is not very restrictive, it is not a low-carb diet, it is not vegetarian only, and you don't need to eat diet pills or supplements. This is a common sense method that if you truly understand and apply in your life, it will make you lose weight and stay slim for good, even if you like to eat like I do. After all, I'm a Chinese and the Chinese people love good food. When two Chinese meet, we usually greet each other with the phrase, Ni zi fan le ma? which means, have you eaten rice or a meal? Eating with family and friends is our favorite activities. That's why you don't see many Asians at a football game or hanging out at the bars. However, if you go to a Chinatown in your city, you will see that the restaurants are crowded with Chinese families who eat plenty of food. However, we don't have an obesity problem. Growing up in Asia, I usually ate four meals a day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, supper, and a few snacks in between meal. But I was always skinny. Until I first came to the United States about 20 years ago. I was skinny when I arrived in Virginia in the fall of 1986. But just after three months of eating American food, I gained 25 pounds. By Christmas, I was already chubby. My two girlfriends are also from Asia. They are good cooks. They cook and ate traditional food at their apartment all the time. I thought they had skinny jeans. Whenever we went to the mall, they had fun trying on new clothes. However, I could not find anything that looked good on me. Frustrated, I always ended up going to a bookstore to look for a new diet book to help me lose weight. Over the next two years, I struggled with my weight. I read at least a dozen weight loss books. I tried diet patches, fat reducing cream, diet pills, diet tea, slim fast, and everything that was on commercials. Nothing worked. One day, frustrated, I just stood in front of the mirror and I asked myself, what happened? When I was in Asia, I ate a lot and stayed slim. Then I realized that when I traveled to Japan, Singapore, and Hong Kong, I saw that most people ate out three to five times a day, and they were all slim. So I thought to myself, maybe I should eat the way I ate in Asia. I began to combine American food with my traditional food, and I lost the 25 pounds easily. I was amazed with the results. Before, I starved myself and couldn't lose weight. But with this method, I stay full and lost the extra weight easily. Because I love to eat, I became a passionate learner on this subject. I study and observe the eating habits of people from many different countries and backgrounds. And after 18 years, the weight loss puzzle became clearer and clearer to me. And I hope to share some of that knowledge to you today. To some of you, my method will be controversial. But to those of you who follow respectable authorities such as Dr. Dean Ornis and Dr. Neil Bernard, you will find that my teachings make perfect sense. This is a typical Singapore food court. In Singapore, there are plenty of food courts. Almost every building has a food court and they are always crowded. Martin Yang, the famous chef of the television series Yang Can Cook, said that when he visited Singapore, his Singaporean friends always insist on a breakfast, 
mid morning coffee break, lunch, afternoon tea and snack, serious dinner, and another snack before bedtime. While they eat, they discuss their favorite dishes, their recent restaurant discoveries, and where to eat next. According to Martin, Singaporeans admit that they have three national passions, shopping, working, and eating. But Martin thinks the first two passions are just excuses to get out of the house to eat. And this is a typical Chinese banquet. The Chinese celebrate weddings, birthdays, graduations, any kind of party with 10 course meal. Yet, we are slim. Many people think Asians are slim because of our genes, but now we know that's not true because Asian children who are eating like Americans are getting fat. I also know that from my personal experience. Some say Asians are slim because we walk a lot. That is also not true. Asian people who have immigrated to the United States drive around just like everyone else. But as long as they continue to eat their traditional food, they stay slim. On the other hand, there are many people here whose words require them to stand on their feet all day long. For example, some of my clients are nurses who have to move around a lot, but they still have trouble with their weight. There is also an extensive study done by Professor T. Colin Campbell of Cornell University. The professor wrote a book called The China Study. According to the New York Times, the study can be considered the grand bridge of epidemiology. They compare the least active group of Chinese people, the white collar workers with the average American. And they found that those Chinese actually consume 30% more calories, but they weigh 20% less than average American. Why? There are several factors, and one of them is resistance starts. What is resistance starts? Not many people, even doctors in the United States, know about resistance starts yet but it's beginning to gain popularity in the United Kingdom and Australia. According to the experts from Oxford University, in the past, scientists thought that all starch in food is digested and absorbed by the human body. But current research shows that a significant portion of starch cannot be digested and will be expelled from our body. Excuse me for the picture, but I hope it will give you a clear illustration of what happened there. When you eat foods that are high in resistant starch, you will get a discount in calories. In addition to that, a recent study at the University of Colorado Health Science Center led by Dr. Higgins published in October 2004 issue of Nutrition and Metabolism found that the presence of 5.4% resistant starch in a meal increased the burning of fat in the body by 23%. And this increase is sustained throughout the day even if only one meal contains resistant starch. Isn't that great? From one gram of fat, we get nine calories. One gram of alcohol gives us seven calories. One gram of protein gives us four calories. One gram of carbohydrate gives us four calories, but one gram of resistant starch will only give us anywhere between zero to three calories. If you want to lose weight and stay slim for good, you need to know about foods that are rich in resistant starches. You also need to know about foods that can increase your metabolism. Also, I will show you how to enjoy meat and avoid the fat. And I will share to you about the most effective exercise. 
I don't know about you, but I'm lazy to exercise. I have a certification as a personal trainer, but I am probably the laziest trainer because I exercise for only about 5 to 10 minutes a day. I'm 42 years old right now. Maybe after 50, I will increase it to 15 minutes per day. However, my point is this. There are plenty of weight loss methods out there, but they do not work because they are too hard to implement. My method is easy, yet it is not magic. You cannot eat a dozen of donuts every day and lose weight. I do not promise that. But what I can promise is that yes, you can eat a donut or even two every day if you like. You can eat fried chicken once or twice a week and still be able to lose weight and stay slim for good. This is a testimonial from one of my clients, the world wide renowned speaker and international best selling author, Ken Blanchard. This is Ken Blanchard, co-author of The One Minute Manager, Raving Fans, Gun Ho, Whale Done, you name it. I lost 9.6 pounds from December 12th to January 10th. People couldn't believe it. They said nobody loses that kind of weight over the Christmas and New Year's holiday. Yes, you do if you follow Linda Yeo's weight loss method. I enjoyed food, stayed full, and yet I lost weight. I could not recommend her enough.